Hello, my name is John D. McKnight. I was born in Truxton, New York in 1834 to a farm family. I was never in very good health, so farming was not for me. Unrelated to my health, I briefly had what was called Western fever. That was for all of us who wanted to go west. I stayed in California briefly. I came back home but soon left for New York City in hopes of finding a clerk's job. Luck would have it, I was in a boarding house with a Mr. Lincoln from Springfield, Massachusetts who was looking for a clerk in his dry goods store. I went to Springfield with him and stayed and worked for him for a year. I returned home, but my health was bad. So based on a story I'd heard about the sea, I went to Labrador fishing, and this seemed to have improved my health. I returned to Springfield then in 1859 and got a job with Haynes and Company. My last job with them was to go to Savannah, Georgia. This did not work out so well in 1860. They would not buy from a Yankee. By this time, my brother was in Springfield, also working for Mr. Lincoln. In 1865, my brother and I and Mr. Norton started McKnight, Norton, and Hawley Dry Goods Company. We did well, but had a terrible struggle due to the Depression of 1873. I was told I had only maybe 10 years to live due to my health problems. I took extraordinary good care of myself from then on. It seemed like a good idea to try to work outside more. So in 1870, I partnered with Tilly Haynes's brother, Theodore. We saw Springfield was growing and there was a demand for high quality houses. We bought 20 acres of the Flag Farm and started building houses. My brother William joined us in this venture. William continued in the dry goods business throughout the 1870s, but I left to spend more time on our development. We continued to buy land north of Bay Street and eventually all the way to the railroad tracks. We did buy some land from Primus Mason south of State Street and developed Winchester and Hawley Street but then turned our attention north of State Street. I built a house for myself at the corner of State and Thompson Street. Now, we believe that if you build a quality product, you can be successful. They started calling Springfield the City of Homes because of our work. So, I guess it was worth it. William concentrated on the buildings, and my specialty was the land. I planned out all the streets, the landscaping, the trees, and the parks. I was always very interested in parks and the aesthetic part of things. We developed and gave the city five parks in our McKnight improvement. We paid to install the trolley that went throughout the neighborhood. I served on the park commission from 1883 until my death. One of my pet projects was in the early development of Forest Park. We were just starting to do some housing as the mutual investment company in that part of town. I gave a big piece of land to the park. I built a new house on Ingersoll Grove in 1888. In 1890, my lifelong health issues caught up with me and I died of acute tuberculosis, which I had suffered with all my life. I was only 56. After my death, my wife Mary donated the McKnight Glen to the city in 1894 and built a house at 79 Ingersoll Grove. She later moved to a new house at 2 Glen Road. William and I were very proud of the development of the McKnight area and hope all of you who still live there and enjoy it will value it as much as we did.